Hey everybody, it's Camero here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Pokemon game. This is the first part, and in this part we're going to be covering the basics. And the most basic of all of this is downloading Pokemon Essentials, making sure you have RPG Maker XP, and getting it all started. So I'm going to cover that before I cover anything. So first and foremost, let's go to it, you want to go and Google Pokemon Essentials. You want to go to the Pokemon Essentials Wiki. This web page you're going to love. You're going to learn to love as I have. I love this web page. It has helped me answer so many questions in my Pokemon development. And you're going to want to go to the downloads page. All right? Simple stuff. Really simple stuff. And what you what you need to download two things. You need to download Essentials V16 which you can just download down around here and 16.2 that's the most recent update yeah so you need to download 16.2 and 16 16 is the base and 16.2 is a patch and once you have both of those downloaded as I have you'll have you'll just put them in a folder like this so here's 16 and here's 16.2 all right so let's take 16 and just uh let's extract it just extract here all right just right click extract here and there you go you have your Pokemon essentials v16 and all the good stuff inside this is all the good stuff you're gonna be working with and here's 16.2 the patch what you're gonna want to do is open it and look at these three patch files. Well, they're, they're RX data. You don't need to worry about that. All you need to worry about is going into your data folder for the Pokemon Essentials. So, Pokemon Essentials V16, you extracted it. Go, open up the data, and inside the data, you just drag and drop the things from the patch, and it's like, oh, you, you, you sure you want it? Yes, move and replace, and it's that simple. It's gonna be that easy. Alright, so you've applied the patch, and you're basically ready to start working. Ooh, Crash Bandicoot. Okay. Pokemon Essentials V... Okay. This is one thing that's actually super important. If you try to run it right now, it actually won't work because there's some weird stuff when it comes to having accent marks in your title. So let's just call it Pokemon Game. Make sure you rename it and make sure that you, you have the E without an accent mark up above it. Okay? Pokemon Game. And then you can just run the Game RPG XP Project. And one thing that's really important to note is if you run it through the RPG XP project, you'll be editing it, and you can access debug stuff, you can modify the game. If you run it through here, this game application, that will be, like, not, not editing. Oh god, that's loud. So you won't be able to edit it at all when you run it through this. This is, this is as if you downloaded it and are playing it, so we're going to stay away from that for now. What we need to do is modify the project. RPG XP. Just modify it. Let me open it. I already have another Pokemon project open, Pokemon Noir. Let me actually close Pokemon Noir and then open... There it is. Okay, so now it's been opened. Oh no, it's not showing up! Hey, there it is. Okay. So, when you first open your Pokemon Essentials game, this is what you'll see. This is a test map. These are all test maps. This is your start, this is your test pallet town. This is your test house. Test route one. This is all stuff that's already been made, which is awesome. I love it. This is all pre-made stuff that you are going to need to use. You're going to think, oh, but I want to make my own maps. I want to do all my stuff all on my own. No. Well, yeah, but it's super helpful to look at the events that they've already made. They have programmed some stuff. They've handled a lot of stuff. Like, you're like, oh, I want to make a Pokemon Center, but I don't know how to program my own Pokemon Center, lady. How do I make my own Nurse Joy? You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about any of that shit. You just go to the test Cerulean Town, and you're like, oh, look, they made a Pokemon Center, complete with a door. You can copy this door event and then make your own doors. And then you can go inside the Pokemon Center, and there's a Nurse Joy event. And there's there's all the... It's all handled. They've even got maps, events. They've got the Pokemon Center. Like, they've got the, the computer. It's all taken care of. And that's awesome. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We've opened the game. Now, let's make some of our own stuff. Okay, 
We want to we wanna show off some of our own stuff. That's what you want to do when you make your own Pokemon game. So, let's make a test map. Let's make a new map, and I'll call it Test Town. There we go. This will be just the basic starting town for our game. And right away, I've already made a mistake. As you can see on the left here, the tile set that it's using is the that's the Pokemon Center tile, tile set. We don't want it to be the Pokemon Center tile set. So what we do is we edit it. We go to Map Properties. Whenever you make a map, you need to edit the map properties. So you, there's the name. You don't, wor don't worry about this thing on the right, this encounters and troop stuff. All right, so what you want to do when you're editing a map is make sure you have a name for your map. Well, it's just pretty self-explanatory. A tile set, very important. Outside, outside with a waterfall. It's a subtle distinction, but it matters. Inside, Pokemon Center, Pokemart, Caves, Dungeon. There's a lot of stuff being handled here. Like, look at look at how amazing some of these tile sets are. You can just change it to be the game corner. And wow, you have access to, like, desks and casino tables and shit. But let's just make it so that way you start outside. All right, this will just be a basic test. And um, let's make... A simple map. Let's let's get some grass in here. So I'm gonna select the paintbrush tool and just paint the first terrain layer with grass. There's three layers when it comes to making maps. So typically you want everything on the ground to be, or all the ground stuff to be on your first layer, and then on your second layer you can add things like I don't know grass. I don't really want to put grass in the starting town though. Well I'll, I'll just keep a little bit of grass just to show it off. And then let's add let's add some trees. Oh, and here's another thing that's really important when you're making maps. On the first layer, anything that has a white background in your tile set will be white when you drop it in. But if you put it on the second or third layer, the white is removed, so it looks nicer. That's pretty nice now, see? I don't have to worry about big white squares when I've got this transparency going, so that's cool. So this will this will be our stupid little map at the beginning. Um, We'll make it a little bit better though. We'll add a house. There we go. So this will be where we start. It looks like garbage, but this is just all for show at the beginning, all right? So this will be where we start. But here's the thing. We haven't set it so that we, when we start, we start here, which is kind of important. And there's two ways that you can do this. You can, you can modify it so that the start position in RPG Maker is here, which we're not gonna do. We want our game to look good. So instead, we're going to go into the intro, and this is going to get a little complicated, but I'll explain it all in future parts. But basically, what you need to do is edit this event, the intro event. And there's a lot of stuff going on in here. It's complicated. I'll cover it all in the future. Don't worry about this. All you need to do is go into the intro event, scroll down through all this stuff. This is all the text. What this is that we're scrolling through is all of the text that plays at the beginning of your, beginning of your game. Scroll down through all of it, and at the very bottom, you'll see this dark red called Transfer Player. That means at the very end of the intro, it transfers you to a new location. So instead of transferring to PN's house, which is where it transferred you initially, it transferred you to Pallet Town, basically, we're going to go to Test Town, and we're going to go in front of the house. And you can also set your direction. You can make it so it fades. Don't worry about this point with variable shit. Don't worry about that. But yeah, so your direction, all that, cool. And then you apply it, cool. Why is it not capturing my mouse again? Oh, wait, there it is. Huh, weird. Okay, cool. So now when we play it, which also, thank God for this freaking green play button. Oh my God, I have used this so many times. You hit play, you save your changes, it compiles your changes, you're going to see some processing, it's going to go diddly diddly. Oh, cool. Oh, wait. This is stuff from my previous game. Interesting. New game. Cool, cool. All right, here it is. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. So this is all the text that's been written already. So I'm just going to go through the intro as they made it. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name's Oak, blah, blah, blah. I'm the Pokemon professor. Oh, cool. I can ask for control help. Why do I need that? Oh, God, Oak, I'm a Pokemon... Dude, I'm making a Pokemon game. You think I never played a Pokemon game? All right. Meryl's a Pokemon. We don't know anything about Pokemon yet. I study Pokemon every day. I'm a boy, as you can tell by my deep voice, and my name will be Ah, which is, you're going to be making a lot of new games when you make a Pokemon game, so you're going to need to get used to your character be named Ah, like, a lot. 
ah, and then blah, 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 and s -s 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 -s. there's going to be a lot of that. You'll face fun times and adventures, and enjoy the starter kit. Whoa! And then it transfers you to your shitty test town. Oh my god! See, that's the basics. This has been this has been some really basic stuff at the beginning. So what we learned in this episode was basically how to get the ball rolling, how to download Pokemon Essentials, how to get started with Pokemon Essentials. Ooh! I almost missed the most important part. Holy shit. This is the most important part. So, we're making Pokemon Essentials. I mean, we're making a Pokemon game with RPG Maker. But it has to be a specific version of RPG Maker. RPG Maker XP. RPG Maker XP is the only version of RPG Maker that works with Pokemon Essentials. There's other types of RPG Maker. There's... let's take a look. There's RPG Maker VX Ace, VX, XP, IG... That's, that's like a jumping thing, don't worry about that shit. Manga... What? Eh! Yeah, but XP is what you need. RPG Maker XP goes on... it's... You can buy it on their website, or you can buy it on Steam. I would say buy it on Steam, that's probably better. And, um... It's 25 bucks normally, but you can get it on sale for 5 bucks during a Steam sale, so do that. But yeah, RPG Maker XP. So yeah, in summary, what we learned... Oh, playtesting. What we learned in this episode was how to download Pokemon Essentials version 16 and the version 16.2 patch install the patch, rename the folder, run your game, mess around with your stuff a little, make a new map, edit maps a little bit, edit the intro to then warp you to your new map, and that's about it, really, but hey, there's going to be a lot more in the next episode. I'm going to talk about more crazy stuff. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter or let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll see you next time. So, yeah, more Pokemon tutorials will be coming and let me know if you have any questions, because this is this is gonna get crazy. Right now, right now, this is basic shit. Okay, you you haven't even seen the thick of it yet. All right. Also, go download Pokemon Noir. It's pretty fun. It's okay. I need to make a full-fledged Pokemon game, but eh, that'll that'll, that'll happen later once I'm done with this tutorial. <laughs> maybe hey, maybe this tutorial will turn into the game. Who knows? But yeah, I'll see you next time. And uh, peace out. And uh, try messing around with your own Pokemon game a little bit, and then come back and watch the next episodes of the tutorial. Okay. We'll see what we can cover in, like, 12-minute portions. But yeah, peace out, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial episode. See you next time.